convertible debt or convertible loan note. Convertible loan note. The benefit to the entrepreneur is that it is easier to raise a lot of convertible loan notes from a number of different investors. The disadvantage to an entrepreneur is they never really know how much of the company they've given away. And if they continue to raise lots of convertible debt, they are actually diluting the founder's share more than they realize. Um, so they actually should price around and then uh, whenever they're raising a significant amount of capital, more than a million or two million dollars, they shouldn't be looking to price around. A lot of entrepreneurs don't realize that and they do a convertible loan note and then another convertible loan note round and another convertible loan note round and it's very disadvantageous to everyone involved. Um, uh, except for the early stage uh, uh, angels. Convertible loan notes originated uh, only uh, as bridges notes or bridges uh, and uh, over time they've been used more by early stage startups rather than as a bridge which is a three month sort of loan. Um, convertible loan notes have been, become more commonly used even to fund a company for 18 months. Uh, without even pricing the company. And that's the real danger uh, to the founder and to the investor that, that if the company isn't priced at some point, um, things can go awry if everything doesn't go very, very well. Um, so convertible loan notes are a good thing in general uh, for the speed of execution and for lower cost of, exec uh, of executing documents, but they become a bad thing when used uh, too frequently. It's complicated. VC lingo. 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 lingo.